What's going on, my pre-healthcare brothers and sisters? I hope that you are having a wonderful day. We're continuing on with our ATIT's question review series, and today we're gonna to be discussing converting fractions, decimals, and percentages. Beginning with question one, negative seven, negative 17 over three, negative 7.2, and negative 43 over six. Arrange the numbers above from least to greatest. Which of the following is correct? Is it A, B, C, or D? And the correct answer is C, negative 7.2, negative 43 over six, negative seven, negative 17 over three. We convert the fractions to decimals. The fraction negative 17 over three is equivalent to negative 17 divided by three, which is approximately negative 5.667. The fraction negative 43 over six is equivalent to negative 43 divided by six, which is approximately negative 7.167. The correct answer is negative 7.2, negative 43 over six, negative seven, and negative 17 over three. Question two, which of the following percentages is equivalent to 0.017? Is it A, 0.17%, B, 1.7%, C, 17%, or D, 170%? And the correct answer is B, 1.7%. To convert a decimal to a percentage, we move the decimal point to the right two places, making 0.017 1.7%. Sarah scored 83 out of a possible 90 points on a test. Which of the following is the decimal equivalent to Sarah's score? Round the solution to the nearest thousandth of a percent. Is it A, 173? B, seven, C, 1.084, or D, 0 0.922? And the correct answer is D, 0 0.922. First, we write Sarah's score as a fraction. 83 points out of 90 can be written as 83 over 90. Now we divide the numerator, the top number, by our denominator, the bottom number. 83 divided by 90 equals approximately 0 0.922. Rashid tossed a coin 12 times and nine times the result was heads. Which of the following is the decimal equivalent of the fraction to tosses that were heads? Was it A, 0 0.6, B, 0 0.75, C, 1.333, or D, three? And the correct answer is B, 0 0.75. We write the number of heads as a fraction of all coin tosses. Nine heads out of 12 throws is written as nine over 12. The fraction reduced is three over four. Now we divide the numerator by the denominator, three divided by four, is equal to 0 0.75. Which of the following percentages is equal to 7.237? Is it A, 0.07237%, B, 0.7237%, C, 72.37%, or D, 723.7%? And the correct answer is D, 723.7%. To convert a decimal to a percentage, we move the decimal point to the right two places, making 7.237 equal to 723.7%. Which of the following is equivalent to 60%? Is it A, three over five, B, two over three, C, five over six, or D, seven over eight? And the correct answer is A, three over five. 
To convert a percentage to a fraction, we take our 60%, which is our numerator, just 60, and we place it over 100%, which is our denominator, just 100. So we have 60 over 100. 60 over 100 can be reduced to 3 over 5. Which of the following is the decimal equivalent to 3 over 8? Is it A, 0 0.375? B, 2.667, C, 5, or D, 11? And the correct answer is A, 0 0.375. To convert a fraction to a decimal number, we divide the numerator of the fraction by the denominator. 3 divided by 8 is equal to 0 0.375. Order the following list of numbers from least to greatest. 5, 9 over 2, negative 1, 4.1. Is the correct answer A, B, C, or D? And the correct answer is D, negative 1, 4.1, 9 over 2, 5. To convert a fraction to a decimal number, the fraction 9 over 2 is equivalent to 4.5. 9 divided by 2 is equal to 4.5. The numbers in order from least to greatest would then be negative 1, 4.1, 9 over 2, and 5. Which of the following is the decimal equivalent to 834%? Is it A, 0 0.0834, B, 0 0.834, C, 8.34, or D, 83.4? And the correct answer is C, 8.34. To convert a percentage to a decimal, we move the decimal point to the left two places. 834% becomes 8.34. And moving on to our last question, which of the following is the decimal equivalent of 0.29%? Is it A, 0.0029, B, 0.29, C, 2.9, or D, 29? And the correct answer is A, 0 0.0029. To convert a percentage to a decimal, we move the decimal point to the left two places. 0.29% becomes 0 0.0029. I hope this video was helpful for you in passing your ATITs like a boss. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. I love hearing from you and I love answering your questions. Make sure you follow me on my social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, as well as here on YouTube. Make sure that you subscribe. And until next time, I hope that you're having a wonderful day. Best of luck on your teas, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.